Hello everyone, welcome to building the ultimate Matchbox car collection. My name is Tyrone and today we're here to review the entire 1978 catalogue from Matchbox. It wasn't yesterday, was it? Uh, we'll go through the 1 through 75 portion of this booklet, starting with the Dodge Challenger. But first of all, we'll talk about variants. Don't worry too much about variants if you've got the one that you think is in the catalogue and the photos are a little bit sketchy. <laughs> um, good, good for your collection. But if there's something different about it, don't stress. There are so many variants in this game, it's quite unbelievable. For example, number three here, the Monteverdi. Um, blue tint windows on that one. I happen to have the blue tint, I've got a green tint, there's probably other tints, you might have the other tint, don't worry so much about it. You will go insane if you try and get every single one out there. Shall we crack on? Um, I won't show all of the boxes, but you're probably familiar with these. Sometimes the box is now worth more than the actual car. They're great looking boxes, and I suppose the reason for the value of these is because from experience when I got them on Christmas Day on my birthday I'd rip off this tab here and it, that was the garage for the Dodge Challenger in this case um, yeah it was a bit of a terror literally pop that over there no, actually we won't we'll, we'll keep the table clearish um, yeah settle in for the next hour or so however long it takes ad free and uh, grab yourself your tastiest beverage and enjoy number one the dodge challenger this was the original red with a white vinyl roof chrome interior and the lovely red five arch wheels unpainted base really nice. The uh, model is way out of whack compared to the real one and if you see the real one you think ooh that's a bit out of whack because you're so used to seeing the Matchbox car version. Number two, oh the other thing I'll say is I've got to be careful of where they've placed them because as we go through the pages they're dotted all over the place the sequence is out but they're in sequence in the tray next to me so hopefully I'll get it right Number two is the hovercraft in green and uh, chromed detail. Some are not chromed, this one is. Number 72 on the base. Hmm. What do we see on the base? Ah, oh, 72 and 2 hovercraft, made in England, copyright 1972. sort of suspension, sort of rolls, sort of a lot of things. Number three is the one I just spoke about, the Monteverdi Hay. It's probably not how you pronounce it. But uh, opening doors, lovely, lovely casting. And I never met one of these that the doors didn't open and close perfectly. They just nailed it. As I said, blue tint on this one it does come in green and probably other tints. Sweet. It's always the test, isn't it? Has this been stood on at some point? Number four is the Pontiac Firebird. Interestingly, they've got the length of each one. I'm not sure why, but 74 millimeters. Not sure what that is in your language of inches or fractions of inch, but uh, I don't really care about the millimeters either. So there you go. Lovely blue. They just smoked this. This and its green counterpart were the reason that I got back into Matchbox car collecting about maybe seven or eight years ago now. I just stumbled across them on eBay, and I thought must have must have and they were sold as a pair and I bought them both and I've been stuck here ever since number five now the exhaust normally came off 
well, it didn't come off, broke off this one, um, the Sea Fire. This one has a yellow pilot. You wouldn't call him a sailor, would you? But uh, yeah, the vulnerability here was always those red exhausts. This one got a hiding, didn't it? Back in the day, number six, Mercedes. And uh, yeah, the roof went, <laughs> the roof went missing during play on this one all too often. But this one is intact and painted base. I'm not sure if anything has a painted base today. We'll, we'll check them all out. Actually, yes, I've just, a few have already come to mind. So that is the Mercedes Tora. Uh, number seven is a bit of a letdown, I have to admit. It's the only one in my collection that's a bit too far away from mint to um, not mention it. This one's got quite a bit of play where astonishingly the surfboards remain, but I've uh, had a bird strike on that windshield and it's had a bit of a roll down a hard surface, I think. Painted base, first one. Um, the box is really well preserved. Maybe that wasn't the original box, but it was sold to me as the, uh, the complete package. Quite possibly that's the first one here. The box is worth more than the car because the car is not worth much in this condition. So no excuses. I haven't got around to changing that one. It uh, was probably bought in as a seat warmer quite a few years ago and the intention was to get the mint version. Number eight, moving right along, pretending it didn't happen, uh, was the Di Tommaso Pantera. Never understood that name, never quite got it lodged in my brain, but there it is. It is a real car, though never saw it on my shores. It was a sort of a hybrid of several American brands, wasn't it? It didn't do well, but great looking casting. Quite often you'll see the casting without the sticker on the doors, just on the bonnet, but this one has both. And that rounds out page one. Looking through it. Number nine is the Javelin, one of my all-time favourites. Where are you? Step forward. It's the most common one with the lemon interior, amber windows, five spokes, and how can you resist opening and closing the doors? These never clicked shut, but they do close properly. Try and get the glare away from the base each time I show the car in that way. Um, or zigzag. Can you see that one? Just. There's a lot of data all over the uh, viewfinder so I'm guessing you can still see that double. Number 10. Oh, it's the piston popper. Did they call Yes, they did call it the piston popper. Roller Maddox 2. So, get that. Uh, was, it, was it the front wheel? Where's the front wheel? Pistons are popping. Yeah. The original one I had, I think my brother pulled the engine apart to see if he could put it back together. And the answer was no. But this one happily survived in somebody's house before it got to mine. Yeah. It's a nice one. Nice one. Number 11. Um, I featured it in the box in the catalogue, so I think I've done that. Oh, I've brought it on the box anyway. There it is there. So nice, weren't they? Remember collecting them uh, and they come home in these boxes. But as I said, they didn't last very long at all. Dodgy little cars on this. Nice roadblock implement if you're playing um, a scenario game with your matchbox cars. Again, those cars were tested, weren't they? Do they come off? Yes. 
and can you put them back on? Uh, no. There is your base, the transporter. Or a, a car transporter, literally. Big bull, and that'll be the bulldozer. Now I found this so randomly. I get a lot of my stuff in full collection purchases. If um, it's a deceased estate usually, and obviously my collection will be sold on in that form one day. I don't care about it because I won't be here, but um, that's how this one was purchased. And I hadn't seen it before. Well, I had seen it before, but I wasn't consciously aware of it. And then I realized what it was and thought, gee, that's a bonus. Tracks are still intact and work. Fantastic. Black ones normally did, the um, beige ones you've got to worry about, although I haven't seen beige ones on that one. We'll get to that as we go to number 13, see what I mean? The numbers skip around, 12's in the middle and 13's on the right again. Um, snorkel fire engine, lovely item. Item, casting, sounds like a matter auction house, doesn't it? Now this item, fantastic. Big solid lump of a thing. And number 14, we go a little funky. Mini Ha Ha. It's only 60 mil long. That's slightly interesting. But uh, normally, <laughs> normally I wouldn't bother telling you. This one's got a, um, a blue blacked out window scheme. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, these came in grey, same as the flying bug came in blue and grey and others. It's funny how the value of certain variants is sky high. And rounding out page two is number 15 and we have the forklift truck with Lansing Bagnall on the side. Lots of moving parts on this one. So the forks go up, boom, moves forward and back. Seems like a complicated thing to make. You imagine uh, back in 1978 or 77 when they would have been making this one. Um, it wasn't just machines going at hyperspeed, was it? It was human hands going as quickly as they possibly could. I wonder if they thought, oh, we're not making the forklift today. Oh, chuck a sicky. That was number 15. Number 16 was the Badger. It's page three now. Have a quick look at page three. Now this particular Badger, the little radar thing on the roof, is untouched by chrome. Normally you'd find it in chrome, but this one is just bare plastic Badger. It's a roll of matics, so see if we can. Yep. It's a bit of interest. Another lump of the thing. They didn't um, put weight into their list of considerations, did they, back then? They just made the funkiest things possible. Number 17 is the Berger Paints two story bus. No, they called that the Londoner. I've changed the name a few times over the years. Two-story bus, Londoner, uh, double-decker, have they used? It's like Matchbox 2. There were never any windows in this, I promise. 72 on the base, so clearly not their first crack at it, but Berger Paint stuck around for a long time, and then they realized that they could mix it up and make people buy it again and again just by changing the sticker. Number 18, we go to two wheels. It's the little Honda Aurora. Just plain old Honda on the fuel tanks. No rider came with this one. No, well, there is a moving part in the front wheel, but uh, stand is stationary. Hopefully you can just make out something there. I can't make out anything, so maybe 
freeze frame it on the big screen. Don't know. Plastic seat. Uh, can we make it do its thing? Probably not. No, it's not willing. Maybe it's willing and not able. Either way, we poached. No, we just lay it on the floor. The only accidents I've ever had on motorbikes is when I thought the stand was down, but it wasn't. <laughs> and it landed on the garage floor. Just the once, I promise. That's all it takes, isn't it? For a fortune of damage, mirrors and things. Number 19, cement truck. Old school. Not the oldest there is in the Matchbox catalogues, but um, this is sort of badgerish, isn't it? Same up front, different business down the back. Nice. Yeah, I'm we'll starting on the road. Zag where we zigged. Next one, uh, police patrol number 20. Loosely based on a Range Rover. Not sure why they never called it a Range Rover. Maybe it was a um, licensing thing. But this is all Maddox 2. Try and get that. There we go. Wasn't ever really that effective, was it? But you see all the workings very busily ticking over in, on the inside, but not a lot happens up top. <laughs> yeah. Such an old favourite. And of course, that came out in a surprising amount of variants. The first one they did was the sticker change and then uh, the light went to blue and then they went all funky with Marshall and Dakar security car and quite a few others. So many to find. Number 21, uh, road roller. I was going to call it a steam roller. It's not, it's a road roller the star and flame sticker on this one the one in the catalogue has nothing so slight variant on my part and um, strange green plastic base number 21 copyright 73 so that might be a slightly older version who knows number 22 one of my all-time favorites the blaze buster Best rolling vehicle of all time, in my opinion. I'm sure it could be um, scientifically proven, but we're not here for science. We are here for tiny cars. Unpainted base, Plays Buster made in England. You know the deal. Wow, looking through. Next page, please. Number 23 is the Atlas. This one is a dump truck. Or a tipper truck with the purpley blue body and the orange tipper or bucket. Uh, the one in the picture appears to have clear glass, or maybe that's just the picture. Still looking for a clear glass version. It probably exists, there are so many different ones. But, yeah. It's uh, impressive. I, I did a few videos this morning on um, very new things, um, new nine packs and uh, the collector series I enjoy collecting and showing. And what strikes me is, as I fiddle with this incessantly, what strikes me as impressive is how heavy these older ones are. It's just a completely different kettle of fish. Number 24, Team Matchbox Racer. In a lovely red. Number eight it's on the sticker. Little man in white. I'm not sure if there was a variant of man colour on these. Uh, I think there's a racer coming up that has a variant of driver colour. But we'll get to that in a second. Unpainted base. Different size wheels back to front. And a lovely chromed engine. So look at 
Number 25 is the tractor. Uh, they call it a mod tractor. This is sort of the thing you'd see at a tractor pull, isn't it? Lots of disgusting diesel smoke, lots of mud flying everywhere, and everybody's screaming in delight. Crimsony colour. Big chunk. Uh, 26. Oh, this is a peculiar looking thing. 26 is the site dumper. That one. In yellow. Looks kind of orange in the photo, but yellow it is. This one's got a few chips. So technically a seat warmer. I do like to collect mint, but obviously they're harder to find and oh so expensive. So you've got to be patient. Not my strong suit. I've often uh, dumped way too much cash on something that I could have got much cheaper if I had have waited. Speaking of expensive, here's a Lambo. <laughs> but quite a, actually quite cheap to collect, these ones, because they're really common. 27 in what I think is an amber tint. I pulled out the red one last night when I was prepping for this video, and um, the red is really dark, I'm sure would have shown up on that photo. So I'll go for the amber tint. It's got an opening part in the engine bay. Metal everywhere. Sweet. See the, um, what would you call it? It's not overspray, is it? The dribble from that tempo. It's enough dribbling on the show already, mate. It's the Lambo. What did we say that was? 27. 28, oh, another roller Maddox, uh, the stout, step forward, young military person, blacked out wheels, love it, and he's looking around for that elusive enemy, I don't see no ship, black base, 73 copyright on this roller Maddox, they look good on mass, don't they? So number 29 is the shovel. And uh, I'm 99% sure this is the correct one, but the photo says it's not. But you see the difference between these two? They're clearly different colors. Can you see? Yeah. But we'll go with this one. I think it's the right one. I have about two dozen different ones of this. He brags. But uh, where's the copyright? 78. Is that 8 or 6? Yikes. Don't know. Don't judge me. We'll call that 29. It's, of course, the shovel nose tractor. Swamp Rat at number 30 to round out that page. Luckily I have the exact one, although the man looks a different colour to the photo. It was always the thing. I suppose that's what got us staring at them for hours when we were kids. You were trying to figure out what they were trying to convey. What colour is that? Is that mine? Swamp rat. And the propeller was the first thing to go, naturally. I did have one of these and I, I snipped off the barrel so I'd have a sawn off. Beautiful. On to the next page, number 33. Gee whiz. Oh, uh, oh looky there. Well, the order on the uh, tray next to me is skew if because of. Oh, look at that. Gee, they're tricky, aren't they? 31's over this side. It's a caravan. That's exactly what it's called. Not holiday home or trailer. It's a caravan. As I always knew it. Um, holiday Hotbox is their nickname. 
because they never used to have air conditioning. I suppose they do now. See the fancy ones rolling along the highway behind something. Your next step is an RV. When you've sold your house to get it, obviously. Number 32 is the field gun. I've got this one, that, that's how they came. Um, I keep mine in plastic boxes and I'll show you the plastic box I'm talking about. Oops. This is what I keep my, my big boxes in. This one here. So they're a bit fragile. You just get these on eBay um, by the hundred. Usually don't come with a cat here on them. Like that one. It's, um, they come flat packed and you just pop them in forever. You bring them out for epic videos like this one. But that's how I store my little field guns. They look cool when they're off this, but it's nice to have them on as well. And I've got a few around the place. Number 33, I'll try to tell you this was the first cab off the rank for this page, but it's not. And um, I have a variant, full disclosure. My pannier is black, this one's white, but pretty close, pretty close. Number 34 is loosely based on a Mustang Mac 1. Um, it's the Fantastic with very subtly tinted windshield and green, or is that blue? It's very subtle. It's north. White base and 34 on the bonnet. Such a strange looking thing, but uh, it was one of our favourites when we were kids. Number 35 has gone all fantasy on it. Before we had half fantasy, now <laughs> we've gone full fantasy. Slight variant. Uh, mine's got a blue fan thing up the top. This one appears to be red and chrome. Don't know, guessing. Don't know. Number 35 on what would be the frunk, I suppose, if the engine's out the back. And uh, clear glass or windshield. Unpainted base, it's got a little tarnished over the ages, but We'll end off the hook. Strange, strange. Number 36. We've shot across to the other side of the page again, but we've got a racer, number 11. It's got the Texaco livery and Goodyear and Champion. Um, oh, the one in the photo has got Marlboro. Dirty, stinking Marlboro. Huh. I have to have that one. Yellow driver, yep, yellow driver. An unpainted base. Never noticed that before now. We are experiencing things together, you and I. Number 37 is <laughs> the skip truck. The, another Atlas type thing, isn't it? So you get your little skip delivered destroy your front lawn because they don't pick it up on time. Cool. Such vivid colours, aren't they? Sweet. And to round out this page and then we'll tidy up the table is number 38, the Armoured Jeep. Again, blacked out wheels. It's a bit of a military theme with that look. They look fantastic together. They really do. You get a table full of the military things and it's like, ooh. Make sure that glare doesn't bother us too much. Moving part in the big gun. Not sure what projectile that would hurl at the enemy. It's best not to think about it. 
great looking casting. Now there's this bizo about the uh, later addition to this kind of thing. Is the shovel on a plinth or is it not? You've just doubled your search range. Do you get the 50 or go right up to 100? <laughs> Number 39 is the clipper, another fantastic looking thing in the sense that it's fantasy casting. There's the page we're looking at. If you're flicking through at home, maybe you have the 1978 catalog in your lap. Funny green headlights on this one, yellow interior. Looks like it's got uh, paddles on that steering wheel, but it's just a bit of flashing from the mold. So well built. You can see why even when the play worn versions of this uh, are found, they're in still pretty good nick. And this is a roller Maddox. If you saw that coming along the road, you'd wave the driver down and tell him he's got an issue out back. But um hmm. <laughs> Funky, funky bass. I put so much effort into getting green headlights. I painted the bass green. Magic. That's just how they did things properly. Uh, number 40 is the horse box. I think this was the original color of this particular era. There are ones with uh, different wheels and all the rest of it, but and probably different casting altogether, but then they modernised it, didn't they? I think this was the first one. Gigi's in the back, having a nap by the look of it, sleeping on the job. And so, so many variants of this one because they carried it right through, right through. Obviously a casting that stood the test of time in the factory and cheap enough to make, so they made them. Number 41, one of my favourites, this fella here, look at that, this is the Streakers version, favourite box too, number 41, see the Streakers logo there, the Seba Spider, it was new for 78, if that is the box for 78, we'll get to a page at the end of new stuff for the following year from this catalogue, we'll go through those as well. But, um, yeah, this is the Streakers version. The original version was in a bronzy colour, wasn't it? Also a very nice paint job. But this gets the flashy treatment. Beautiful. Love it. 42 already. We're going industrial. We've got ourselves the... What are they officially? Oh, um... Oh, that's interesting. Just realised it's got new next to the horse box. So that was a new casting. I was right for once. And this is saying new as well. Mercedes container truck with a detachable container. Nothing here to see, folks. And almost always that is lost. If you find this in a car boot sale, this has got chips around the window and it's minus the container. Slide him gingerly across so the container doesn't fly off. Number 43, this fella, Dragon Wheels. And of course, the moving part. I've brought this back in. Uh, 2022 and 2021 and they did a rehash in 1980 the brown one and others uh, they did the premium version i think that was sort of late 90s wasn't it same coloring but much more detail and uh, there's a few others i don't have i won't bring the others out that i do have to show you because we're focusing on this one just check out who knows how many videos i've done 
featuring these ones. They've been trotted out quite a lot because I like them quite a lot. That, that was the Dragon Wheels at number 43. Number 44 is the Boss Mustang. Hmm. That blacked out hood even opens, although I don't want to open it too much. Given its age, it's not a young thing. that. Wasn't that the test? You play with these in your hallway and your dad steps on them. He te teaches you a few new swear words, but your suspension's buggered. He might be limping for the rest of the week, but your suspension's buggered. Number 45, uh, BMW 3.0 CSL. With the green tint, almost always came in this colour. There are weird variants. I have a white one with a Hungarian base. I know there are Bulgarian variants. You'll never keep a track of those because they never catalog them. You might have a hundred different colors of it with a Bulgarian base or indeed Hungarian, but this one is the original. There are many like them, but this one is mine. That's that page already. Am I giving you a good look at the catalog just in case? Uh, next page, 46, is the Stretcher Fetcher. <laughs> strange name, strange ambulance. Privacy wasn't a thing back then, was it? It just goes through the, the clear, well, translucent window at the uh, casualty. <laughs> you want to hope the air conditioner was working in this thing as well funky thing. Red base. 71 copyright. Great. 46 is a funny fella. Uh, what did they call it? Beach Hopper. And that's the Roller Maddox as well. Which wheel? Probably the last one. Yep. Gee, you'd have some spinal injuries. Maybe you'd end up in the stretch of Hedger after a day on the beach. Pink base. If you're going to go <clears throat> purpley blue with crimson splotches, of course you're going to go for a pink base. Poor fella. And orange interior. Steering wheel is probably not going to be effective, but what do you care? You're on the beach. You can do anything on the beach, especially in those clothes. So that was the beach hopper. Number 48. This one fascinated us, didn't it? Goes up and tilts at the same time. How could you do that? Just a plain old yellow. They changed all of their uh, construction type vehicles to this yellow in the end, didn't they? So if you're collecting the set or subset of these, they all looked good together. No interior or uh, glass windshields to speak of. Well, at all. Uh, and the official name was Sambron Jacklift. Jack. No suspension, but uh, built well. For, <laughs> sounds like I'm trying to sell them to you. I promise you I'm not. Number 49. That was new casting, by the way. That Sambron Jacklift. 49 crane truck. See what I mean about the colours? Um, and that one was yet to fall in line, I hope. You're probably thinking, no mate, that for 78 it was the same colour. But I don't know. I'm just a guy on YouTube that collects matchbox cars for the sake. This one's got green tint and the red hook. Um, as it went, it got stickers, didn't it, all over the place, just to make you buy another one. So many things going on with this. The little stabilizers don't come out, but what do you want? It's got so much. Great looking thing. Plastic boom, but um, you imagine the weight of it if everything was plastic and you'd get your paint wearing off if the boom was extended. Crane truck, number 49. Number 50, 
was the articulated truck without the stickers on the side. There's versions, well there's all sorts of versions of this one too, but I think the next one had the stickers on the side. This one is stickerless. That's number 50, articulated truck. There you go, 73 on the base. So maybe the stickers were before they went stickerless. Doesn't really make sense though, does it? If you had two of the stickered ones and you didn't want to buy this year's one, you'd just peel one of the stickers off of you. <laughs> so that's that page. No, it's not. I've done it again. See, 50's there and 52's up there. 51's in the center. Why wouldn't it be? It's a Citroen SM. This has got the streaker livery as well. Livery or stickers, tempo, whatever you want to call them. It's got the pizza based steering wheel. It's probably the last time I'll ever open and close those doors. I really don't like doing it on these odd things. But for the sake of the video and the journey we're on today, it gets a look in. Stunning. So that was the Citroen, and number 52 is the police launch. Probably one of the ones that got the biggest hiding in my youth. Lack of paint and dodgy wheels. Ironic that it's called the police launch because. Um, you launched it at everything, didn't you? Your brother, your dog, your other cars, everything. One guy with the binoculars, one guy just trying to stand on his feet, really. Such a classic. Doesn't float, by the way. Flip them over and carry on. Number 53 is the CJ6 Jeep. Uh, there we are, in red, with a tan canopy, or brown canopy, yellow interior, tow hook, and unpainted base. Hmm. It's got a fantasy island look about it, hasn't it? I had something like that. Number 54, we're going military again. And it's the personnel carrier. Backed out wheels again. Green tint. I don't think there are other tinted variants, but you never know. Green seems to go with the paint scheme on this one. Maybe there was a blue tint for the uh, moon version of this. I'm sure there was a moon version. I'm sure there are others out there that I'm unaware of yet. Another lump of a thing. He was, he was number 55, got a Hellraiser in blue. Beautiful blue too. Exposed engine, the back end, quad exhausts. Yeah. Big wide wheels too those super fast tracks you can get. 56, we're going linear, that's unusual. You're not confusing me at all till we get to the next page. See what I mean about the driver? It's got a yellow driver in the catalogue and in my hand and uh, I've got one in the drawers behind me with a blue driver. Same everything except the driver. So. Um, Sometimes they just tweaked it for the next catalogue. Therefore you had to buy it again. Sounds great on the racetrack too, as I recall. 57, we're going to the park to see the lovely little animals. Speaking of air conditioning, I hope his little boxes. He's going to have the hell of a day if it's not. And ran and ran in circles under the glass. <laughs> Elephant on the hood. Line up back. It's a Ford truck and just called the wildlife truck. 
on the roll matics with red tint. Uh, just double check that that's red tint. I'm not sure. Not sure. We'll call it red tint. Number 58 is the Fawn Dumper, known in Australia as the Hall Pack. It always will be. That's when they made stuff properly. Someone threw a rock at this one, but it's the best I have. And they've gone silly over the years with this one. They put pimped out wheels on it, and of course the tipper went plastic, of course. But um, some really weird looking things before they wrapped up this casting. But it's the best, naturally. Number 59 is the Planet Scout in green. Two-tone green. Making it look all funky with the amber glass and beacons. Recently picked up a reddish brown one of these. It's very happy. It's funny the things that make you happy. <laughs> You've got to laugh at yourself sometimes, don't you? <laughs> Number 60 to round out this page. New for 1978. Um, the photo looks a bit vague. I'll show you. That, uh, I'm sure that's the original. I'm sure it is. Of course, they went to a much darker red, but we'll call this the original with the yellow bikes, orangey yellow bikes, and the slight amber tint. What a beauty. I've got the box somewhere. Uh, too far away to get, but what a beauty. Those bikes do come off, but uh, shall I do that? Just this once. They always got lost, didn't they? Just, um, Go down town a little because we're crowding out the place. Here we go. Yeah, they got lost, didn't they? Here we go. It's quite traumatic to do that. I need another cup of coffee after this. Don't like um, risking things like that. The age they are. Wow. On to the next page. Flicking through them very quickly. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I don't know um, how long this video is at the moment until I stitch it all together because I've paused quite a few times either to tidy up the table or have a drink of water. 61 is the Blue Shark and they brought this back with the, was it the 50th anniversary Superfast? Same casting. Oh, they absolutely nailed it. So happy to see it. I think they just dug out the old casting, the old moulds and said, let's give it a crack and it worked. And the blue of it is different, but just as awesome. Am I gushing? I think so. Number 86 on this one. Um, beware, if you're trading your doubles to um, uh, advance your collection, beware. I almost traded the other one of this because it was a double, but the windshield has a very slight amber tint to it. Everything else on it is exactly the same. And I only noticed it at the last moment before I packed it away, heading off to a swap. So, very lucky to have the Blue Shark in two different windshield colours. <laughs> now, speaking of variants, number 62. You'll want to see this. My word. It's the Renault uh, 17TL. Now, catalogue says a 9. My car says a 9. Some years they flip that sticker so it's number six. I have one and I didn't bring it out, but just trust me, they've flipped that sticker. And the first time I noticed it, I thought, who's peeled that off? But sure as the sun comes up tomorrow, they flipped it and called it new. Right hand drive, naturally, it's a little Frenchy. And the, speaking of switching, they've switched which way their uh, base goes for the writing. Black painted base, lovely little thing. Common as muck, but lovely little thing. Number 63 is another articulated truck. 
lorry, tractor trailer, I think Americans call them sometimes, Burma on the side, in red, yeah, oh that's right, freeway gas tanker, I'm not sure, I, was, oh, I wouldn't have seen that on the other one, it was a dumper, freeway gas tanker, gee, that's a little memory jogger. I always used to practice reversing these. I always used to hit something too. Right, on with the show. Number 60. Oh, did they do that to me? Oh yeah, they did too. Look at that. Start there, go up there, zip around there. Keep me on my toes. It's the fire chief car. Strange looking thing. Have no idea what that's based off, if anything. They just called it the fire chief car, so maybe it wasn't based on anything at all. And the sticker wants to peel off on this one. I don't know how to remedy that, so I'll just leave it alone. Unpaste, unpainted base, but yeah, love this thing. And I didn't when I was a kid. I didn't like it at all, really. Don't know why. Didn't get it, maybe. Didn't understand what they were trying to pull. But, uh, yeah, great to have it. Number 65, we'll keep an eye on these because they're shifting all around the page. It's the British Airways coach, airport coach. Uh, and again, just like the Londoner, they just do a switcheroo on the sticker and call it fresh, call it brand new, call it this year's airport coach on the base. 1977. So are they saying that's new? Yes, they are. That was new for the 78 catalogue. How little did we know uh, that they would give it to us every year with a different sticker on it for the next 100 years. Number 66. Didn't this play well with the forklifts? A little transit. Um, Ford Transit and I've never seen it in any other color with any other tint maybe you have one but that's how I know it that's how I know it only and they're saying this was new for 78 as well love this thing hmm. such a great pa great paint job too so if, if it did knock about, it was took a beating before it got a, a chip in the paintwork, normally just above the headlights. 67 is the Capri in orange. And this is a roll of Maddox too, isn't it? Is it that one? There you go. Engine mounts are naked, mate. Unpainted base. Rollomatics, Hot Rocker, that's right, is Hot Rocker. <laughs> Tow hitch, be a lot going on, wouldn't it? The trailer knocking around behind you and the engine bouncing up in front of you. <laughs> You'd be quite stressed out on the camping trip, wouldn't you? It was the Hot Rocker number 67, number 68, and last one for this page is the Cosmobile. It's the most common color. But there are others. Picked up a red one. Um, hunting down the last ones for another year's catalogue. But yeah, it never ends, I promise you. Super fast, obviously, on the base, but no rollomatics. Nothing bounces, pops, rattles. There's a whole range with that colour blue in the 70s. But I'm sure we'll get to those one day or another. In at number 69, last page, is the Turbo Fury. Also a roll of Maddox. This went really well with the Blue Shark, didn't it? And I'm guessing that they uh, tinted that windshield at some point as well. But I only have this one. This is a roll of Maddox. So you get the, the Turbo Fury going on at the back again beautiful paint job fantasy car but it's really well done 
maybe one day they'll bring out a rehash of this casting if it survived I dare say it did not that's the page we're looking at number 70 is the SP gun self-propelled gun in our lingo now the one in the picture has these tracks on them it and they never last these ones are about to fall off if you're lucky enough to find the slightly later version with the black tracks much more robust and um, I think yes this is Rollomatics too so the track goes along and see if we can do it on the there you go. Now I'll quietly put that back. Tracks intact. But yeah, you won't get the actual one pictured to do that because the tracks are gone. But we'll put him there and pretend that it's fine. Black one was for illustration purposes only. Number 71 is the cattle truck sometimes known as the steak truck ironically because you've got a few steaks in the back now those balls came whoops, <laughs> came like this and you just snip them off but we'll keep those where they are I'll show you the loose ones separately still need a bit of trimming obviously but those things to get lost and also these mud flaps sheared off, didn't they? The first session, the first game you played with them. Green tinted windows, that's another thing that they did with these over and over. Just changed the tint on the windows. Sometimes the cows or the bulls are a different color and different back, different paint job. There's so, so many of those to find. That was 71, the cattle truck. 72 we take to the water again with the SRN6 hovercraft Union Jack on it uh, this isn't rollomatic is it that didn't spin we tried to make it spin obviously just the once because with number two all the way back on the first page we looked at Again, didn't float. Not even the once. 1972 on the base, so that had been around for a little while. Number 73, we've got the Weasel. It's another Rollomatic. Where are you? Again, the blacked out wheels, and the turret just sort of flips around, doesn't it? So, where's the last wheel I try? There you go. Pyong Pyong. Funky two-tone bass. Yeah. Lots of military back then. Now they shy away from it because they want everybody in a skirt. Number 74 is the Tojo in the green with the green booms and the red hooks. And the tinted windshield to get those tinted amber light bar, uh, beacons. An unpainted base. That's along the lines of that, isn't it? They always seem to go together. And last but not least, before we get on to these great new models, number 75 was the helicopter. I was going to call it the something sprite. I'm sure there's a different name on this. Yeah, Sea Sprite. Huh. Just calling it the helicopter in the catalogue. This one with blue tinted windows. As it flies across the table. <laughs> yeah. That was number 75. 1 to 75. And we'll just play around with these new models, shall we? While well, I've got you here. Flat car and container something to look forward to for 1979 NYK on the side to 
detachable. And of course, hooked up to as many bits and pieces as you wanted to collect in the train set. Put those off to the one side so I get a nice clear look. In a second we'll do a, a pan around. Diesel shunter was something to look out for, 1979. Couldn't wait. So heavy. Oops. Red base. Shunter. Diesel shunter. And the ambulance, they changed the shape of the ambulance after 78 to this one, sort of the general hospital look. Loved that thing, loved it. Unpainted base, there we are. And the Escort, gee whiz, this was a shock. Escort RS2000. So nice. That was the black base. And the Datsun 260Z, and a lovely magenta. I won't spend too much time on these because they're still in my thunder when I actually do the uh, the review on this next one. And of course, the best thing about the Combine Harvester that appeared at number 51 for the following year, I'm assuming, given all the information in front of me. Best thing about this was the box because it's like, what? What'd they do that for? But we bought it anyway because we wanted it. We wanted to collect the set. Or our parents didn't know better. And of course you push along and harvested as you went. Again, great for throwing at your siblings. But maybe that was just me. So there you have it. The 1375. We'll tidy up the table and do a nice old pan around. So I suppose the thing to remember with the catalogues of the 70s and even into the 80s so many of them were just uh, carried over through each year for several years some of them uh, so if you pick one year of your favorite era and um, focus on that uh, take solace in the fact that you won't have to buy all 75 for each year <laughs> they're quite difficult to to find and um, afford usually because the prices have gone quite silly especially recently and I'm sure they'll just keep on going up so maybe look at them as an investment if they're mint and um, hang on to those boxes too if they're mint because quite often they are worth more than the car so I hope you've enjoyed this very long video like, share, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.